Okay, now for the jacket, I am doing the reflective vinyl. Um, I did some shirts, y'all, a long time ago. I'm talking six, seven years ago when I first started. So I had this leftover reflective vinyl, surprisingly. So I'm going to put that on my shirt to match the shield. But I don't remember if you're supposed to cold peel or hot peel this reflective, reflective vinyl. And I don't know what brand it is, but we're about to find out. It's probably a uh, sizer, is that how you say it? Because that's my fave. Anyway, cut my name and I put it over here. I actually put my jacket on and kind of figured out where I wanted my name to go with it unzipped because... If I do have the jacket on, nine times out of 10, it'll be unzipped. Or if it is zipped, it won't be zipped all the way to the top. So I had the jacket on unzipped and measured it from over here for you guys. And I think I got to, yeah, 1.75 inches. And then I kind of just centered it on the shield and that's it. Um, the carrier sheet is not as sticky, so I couldn't leave it on and, you know, carefully take my jacket off. So... This is it. There's no centering, you know, just slap it on there. The only thing you just want to kind of make sure that your name is straight. And really, if it's not straight, it'll be okay because people won't see the straightness. So we just go, we freestyling today, y'all. Let's see. Looks like it's doing something. check that out you should do hey now that was easy peasy oh that's super cute super 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 cute I'm gonna go over it one more time to make sure that it's on there it feels like it's on there but I kind of like to see the material of whatever I'm using I like to see it like imprinted and ingrained in the vinyl if it's not glitter vinyl to make sure that it's really really on there but i think it's really really on here oh my gosh that was so easy all right that's it there you go Ta-da! super cute 